finance. Don't be surprised to see that. But someone will say that you are conflicting yourself. When I talk about one West African Anglophone country who make it to the semi final and maybe to the extent of final. Don't forget that I'm not conflicting myself. I said that one Anglophone country will go there, it will go far, it will go to the extent of the semi final, to the extent of even final. I'm not even surprised that team will take the World Cup. But on condition, I say if, if they do the sadaka or if they do the sacrifice, and I say that they are in that group, and then that group page is not good for them. But if they are able to go out of that group or go out of that stage, then no one can block them. So please, you should try and measure the past and then the current speech. So these are the two major teams from our calculation that we are going to. So Ghana and Cameroon. And as for Cameroon, whether they do the Sadaka or they didn't do the Sadaka, God willing, they will perform a lot. And we don't know what God is about. Uh, as for after that, uh, from my scene, I'm seeing the day are you is going to have a red card. And then Ronaldo of Portugal is also going to be benched. That's in their second match. And the, these are some of the teams out of the box. The other time we say that there are left with three box or three set or three group. We are able to minus six, we are able to minus five is left with three. But we are going to do it in this way. Because of the gambling nature of what is happening, we don't just do it like the way we did in the past because I have to also protect my Islamic faith. Gambling is Islam. In Islam. So these are the teams that we should expect them on the floor of the semi-finals. I know on the floor of the semi-finals there are four, but the ones that I'm bringing, there are more than four. Since I'm able to minus more, 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 more than 21 or 22 teams, then after that, I'll try and minus it in that way so that I'm protecting myself. So if you yourself, you can also use your mind to the code, then it's your own palaver. Out of the teams that they are going there, and we have, uh, what do you call it? We have uh, Portugal, we have Argentina, we have uh, uh, Brazil, we have, uh, what do you call it? Belgium, we have Germany, we have France, we have Ghana, we have Cameroon, we have England. And these are the teams that I'm seeing that these teams, don't be surprised to see them on the floor of semi finals. And don't be surprised to see them. And don't be surprised then to see them pair in the final. Because if I bring the set and I say that this is the group is left with Jin or is left with H or is left with A or B, you just know the team that I'm about. <laughs> but this one, I categorize these are the teams that we are expecting that God willing from what I'm seeing, these are the teams that we are seeing them from the floor of the semi finals. And it's left with you to we move forward today. And then out of these teams, the golden boot will go in one of them. And then the one of them too is a European team out of this team. So you use your mind to know what I'm about because this time I'm not giving it free. So you have to also decode it in your own way. So these are the teams that we have. They are most probably going to the semifinals and out of this team that will go the teams that will go to finals and Ghana is not an exception Cameroon, Belgium, Brazil, Portugal, Argentina, France, England, Germany from my personal calculation I don't know what God is about then after that one there is one surprising team up to now I didn't say this is winning or this is not winning because I will come on also deduct out of this number, I will deduct because they are 32. And out of these 32, the one that I mentioned, and England too is also part. If I didn't mention England, England is also part of this. So out of this one, it seems I mentioned about almost 10 or 11. So out of the 32, then I, I, I remove 21 and this 11. And then with time, if you are following me, I will also remove it till I get to the end. And then there are a lot of surprises that we are going to see in the World Cup. Uh, amongst other things, 
uh, 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 what, do, what do you call it? Uh, the captain of Brazil is going to have a yellow card, and then uh, uh, Mbappe of France is also going to have a yellow card. But there are a lot of things that we are going to expect in the World Cup. But these are the major serious things that we are having. But there is one calculation that I'm having. And that calculation doesn't necessarily mean that that's the one winning the World Cup or the one not winning the World Cup. When you take the groups A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H, these eight groups, letters starting with B, Belgium and Brazil. Belgium and Brazil. And B in arithmetic is two. B in arithmetic is two. So when you take Belgium and Brazil, you take two and put it in the day of the starting day of ceremony of the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. And you take the same two and put it in the final day of the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. You will get the equation being balanced. But that does not necessarily mean that I said that Brazil or uh, what do you call it, Belgium is winning the World Cup. I just, uh, uh, we are just updating you our mode and our code of calculation before we get there. Don't think that we are just making a guesswork or something like that, or we are doing something, or we are using the dwarfs or witches. Or, no, it's typical spiritual mathematics with the support of the Holy Quran. So, when you look at the starting of the World Cup, that was yesterday, Ecuador and Qatar, the host nation, 2-0. When you look at the date, the date was 20th November 2022. So when you take two, two as a figure, you put in the 20th, you get 10, because it will go into this, into 10. And then in the 11 to when you take the two, it will go into it 5.5. .5. Although in the split, we don't use five. Then when you take the two into 22, you get 11. Either the two is representing Brazil or it's representing Belgium. So when you get 10 plus 5.5 .5 plus 11, that will give you 26 point something. But in split, we don't use point. So approximately. 26. So you see that countries beginning with B, like Belgium and Brazil, we have 22 in the first day of the World Cup. And the final day of the World Cup is 18th December 2022. 18th December 2022. So when you take the same two and put in the 18, two in the 18, you get nine. When you take 2 in 12, you get 6. When you take 2 in, uh, in 11, in 22, you get 11. Then you plus 9 plus 6 plus 11. 9 plus 6, which is cost you 15, plus 11, which is cost you 26. So you see that we have 26 here from the day of the World Cup, and we have 26 years from the final day of the World Cup. It's like some of you are abreast with mathematics in the physical world. You look at simple equation. When you have two X plus three, it's equals to five. So you work with two X, it's equals to five minus three. So you have two S is equal to two. Then you divide these two, these two. So you get S is equal to one. So when you take S is equal to one and you put in that equation of two S plus three is equal to five, then you, it will be balanced. You get here one and you get here one. That is the physical, spiritual arithmetic of what we are doing about the World Cup. The reason is that most people say that I come out with the analysis after the World Cup. And I want to prove them beyond reasonable that it's because that we are escaping the gamblers, that's the reason why. 
so this is just a short clear example of what we are doing we are using the dates of the world cup we are using the month we are using the teams we are using the gc color we are using the logo something like uh, germany is having eagle on top france is having cock as i predicted france last when the white court came and congratulated me and then you see uh, England is having something like a lion and Netherlands. So we are using all this together, come out with the results of the World Cup. It's not just a common thing that we are doing. With the support of Grand and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that's the date work that we are doing. But this does not necessarily mean that I'm saying Belgium or Brazil is winning the World Cup. I just want to tell you that that is what we are having in total. There are two teams that they normally go to the World Cup, they don't win. If, they are happen, if it happens that they go to this World Cup, you see them in the World Cup playing with a different team. Then this time around, those teams, they will be the